<laughs> Why is the rum gone? This might be the worst idea I've had on this channel so far. Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Dimple Balls YouTube channel. We got another Sunday banger. Hit the like button and subscribe button. We're growing so fast. And if you hit that subscribe button, you'll be able to tell all your golfing buddies that you were here at the beginning of the channel before we got to a thousand subscribers, which again, we're headed there fast. So hit the subscribe button before that opportunity passes you by. But today we're trying to figure out if we can find a very premium golf shoe alternative. And that is the key. Uh, I think this is a newer model uh, Puma shoe. I just got these a couple months ago and the feel of these is fantastic. I love the way they feel inside and out. They're really, really light for summer use. Um, I like the material on the outside, the inside. Again, it's just an overall very, very comfortable shoe, but it is $160. So I thought what shoes are pretty durable, pretty versatile and also a decent price that maybe we could convert into a golf shoe. That's the video today. I headed over to my local Croc store. They're all terrain, they're adjustable strap in the back. Some Crocs don't have the adjustable strap, so that could be good on golf days. Don't, don't forget about that. In the heat, in the summer days, this is gonna expand because it's rubber. I don't know if that's a thing or not, but I wanted to see if maybe we could convert these comfortable bad boys into golf shoes. That's what we're set out to do right here, right now. Let's check out how much I paid for them. They were on sale. Um, they were $49.97. So again, one third the cost of these Pumas. We're gonna even throw some spikes on these and see if they're a good golf alternative to the Pumas, just as a very cheaper alternative. I'll tell you what, I don't know if you're supposed to wear these things with socks or not, but man, I feel like, I feel like Usain Bolt. I feel like Bryson DeChambeau with the traction, man. I could just boom. So these spike kits where you can add spikes to different shoes like Jordans are about 10 to $15. I already had these in the garage, so they don't count for cost for me, but we're gonna count them in the video just because that's the entire point of the video. All right, I'm gonna try them on for the first time. Uh, they were already comfortable before we put the spikes in them, so I can't imagine that we sacrificed the comfort of them. But that's how easy it is to put on golf shoes nowadays. It's 2022, you better catch up to the program. Boom, just like that, I'm ready to hit the links. They don't feel any different from how they did with the spikes on them. Obviously this grass is pretty tall though, so I'm not gonna be able to get a really good grip test. That'll come from the putting green for sure. So you gotta check the ball if it's on the green. Is that a person or a duck? Got to put this. Got to put these in sport mode. That's what you got to do. Oh. <laughs> I'm ready to hit some absolute lasers with these shoes. I'm telling you, man. The traction. Ooh, I'm feeling good today. I'm feeling good. Lowest round ever in Crocs. Oh, oh, we totally forgot the charms. We're leading with golf today gotta be important golf spatula because that's what we're using to hit today we're using some spatulas apron because we're gonna be cooking this is the full spirit of crocs though to be honest salt and pepper if in case you want to rub it into the guys you're facing rub a little salt in the wounds got the frying pan because that's what we're gonna put this we're gonna put it up on the pan the green and then chef's kiss <laughs> That's what we're gonna add to all of our drives. Perfect. Full spirit of Crocs today. We are rocking them. Let's hit some bombs. Play some golf. We gotta cook something low through these trees. the trees <laughs> dude it was perfect the shoes feel good in the in the in the woods so a little update we're on the first hole and these spikes are already like being destroyed right now 
so the durability of the spikes is not very good. Most of these have even fallen off. But the Crocs themselves, they feel comfortable, they feel light, they feel loose. Let's keep it going. We had a nice out out of the woods there. Now we just gotta bump and run it up onto the green and see if we can one putt for par. Put this in for bird. I hit it a little bit too hard. Too much power, we need less hands. Great chip. I know we don't even have to putt on hole one, which kind of sucks because I wanted to see how it felt. A bogey to start number one. Oh, we got the kick. Back in the fairway. 121. I'm gonna go with a nine iron. It's gonna hook a little bit to me on the left because it's above my feet. All right, the green side. Just off the front. Should be able to go up and down. I did not get the edge down. It's a heck of a chip there. Ooh, it kept going after you moved. <laughs> yeah, we might we might have a chance to one putt this, which is good. Save a bogey. First putt though. With the Crocs. Overestimated that break. The grass seems longer today. Probably not going to break as much. I know a lot of places will probably require you to have closed-toed shoes. These are technically closed-toed shoes. And if you get the all-terrain ones, you're really not going to have a problem with grip. The spikes we put on them are pretty unnecessary. I mean, so far I haven't lost traction at all. But, like I said, this is just aeration. These are technically, you can't see my toes at all. Especially if you wear socks. end up in that valley. Ooh, I need to I need to get him to stop more. Not today. That went as straight as it possibly could go. Another two putt. I'll tell you what, if you ever want confidence when you're putting or even just shooting the ball, you get up there, you look down, you see the salt and pepper logo, you see the spatula, nothing gives you more confidence than that. Just get up there and absolutely rip it like Tiger. came down look at that came down a real good spot it did your green side came down it's the crocs it's the magic of the charms of the crocs it's a great chip yeah i think we can two putt we might make our first par croc par we got a birdie opportunity here a little left to right let's put this one in Let's, Let's put this in. I think you're right to left. Oh, way too soft. Way too soft. That's a great par, though. Ooh. First par of the day, we'll take it. It's a Crocs. <laughs> Best shot of the day, too. Sounded like it. Yeah. That's gonna be right near the green. Sheesh. How'd you hit that so well? It's freaking Crocs, man. They're feeling comfortable. They're feeling real roomy and grippy and 
Oh, hit him with it. Yeah, that was one of the best drives I've hit. Certainly on this hole, I'm usually like way left, but we got we got 110 in. I hit it. Hit it 220 off the tee into the wind. I'll take that any day, especially if I know where it's going. Dude, that wind killed that ball. That's unfortunate. Just an unfortunate error by myself. Stop my swing short, put it short of the green. But now we gotta go up and down. We'll give ourselves a par look there. <sighs> Bang. <laughs> <laughs> That's a par putt right there. That's a great one putt. <laughs> Pull that out of that bad boy. That's a back to back pars right there. Give me a roll left. That was that ball was blasted. I'm gonna try and cut this thing. That was so unlucky. That could not have been more unlucky. It caught the one branch. It's always the one branch. Trying to rain on the croc parade. It's unbelievable. That could not have been more unlucky, Dad. Ever end up in the grassy knolls? We're gonna see if the crocs can hold up in the grassy knolls. We're now going at the green for the next shot, which is good. This has been a brutal one. 68 yards, but the wind's at our back, so it's probably gonna play like 55. I'm gonna play like a lob. That was a great shot. I think it's just in the back. It might've been a little deep. All right, cameraman Brett here. We uh, actually put her on the green. We are not that far off. Maybe 16, 17 feet. I don't know. Should be a two putt right here, but this wind is brutal. Look at the flag. Maybe sit. Playing St. Andrews right now. Oh my God, the Crocs. <laughs> the Crocs, The Crocs says. and putting. The Crocs and putting. And ended up saving a seven there. Could have been a lot more horrendously disastrous. But we got one hole left, camera's dying on us. But let it be known that the Crocs do help you improve your putting and your feel for the green. <laughs> All right, so to wrap it up, the camera did die, but we got six holes of great footage there. We stepped everywhere. I ended up playing some sand shots later in the day. And let me tell you, the shoes with the spikes did not last. All of the spikes either fell out or disintegrated, but they were really old spikes. But I'm gonna tell you straight up that you don't need to even have the spikes on there. We did that just to be fun in a golf video. But these shoes that are the all-terrain Crocs held up over a round of golf. And honestly, it was super comfortable. I felt like I could feel the greens undulations a little bit better. I was more connected to the ground I was on. I walked over sticks, I was out of bounds. I did a bunch of different tests on these things and they held up pretty pretty well. I mean, they're, they're not the most comfortable shoe I've ever worn, but for 18 holes, I was never uncomfortable, if that makes sense. And if you're looking to play golf in something that's semi-comfortable, but extremely affordable, these are like 45 bucks to 50 bucks, somewhere in that range, depending on where you get them, the deals, the clearance, the tax. And uh, yeah, you can get super creative with your little gems there on the top of the shoes and hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed the, today's video. Uh, it was really fun making it. Uh, hit the like button if you're new to the channel and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.